हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड एमिटर फीडबैक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन एमिटर फीडबैक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज यूज्ड टू इंट्रोड्यूस नेगेटिव फीडबैक इनटू द सर्किट so it is a method that is used to introduce negative feedback into the circuit there are two basic type of emitter feedback configuration first one is base bias so here figure a shows base bias configuration in base bias configuration the current ib is fixed and the current ic varies or changes when the current gain changes or when the current gain varies hence we can say q point is not stable and it moves all over the load line with change in temperature hence this type of biasing is not commonly used in base bias configuration the current ib is fixed and the current ic varies as current gain varies hence the q point in this type of configuration is not stable and it moves all over the load line and also this q point is not stable for change in temperature hence this configuration is not commonly used since q point is not stable in base bias to overcome this disadvantage we can use emitter feedback bias as shown in this figure here the emitter resistance is added to the circuit to provide more stability so resistor re will provide more stability to the amplifier circuit now if ic increases the voltage ve will also increase causing the voltage across the base vb to increase since we know ve is equal to ie into re and vb is equal to ve plus 0.7 volt so if vb increases which means more vb will cause less voltage across rb if less voltage across rb then less base current if there is less base current it opposes the increase in ic so in emitter feedback configuration re is introduced to give more stability to the amplifier circuit here if ic increases ve will also increase in turn vb will also increase so from this equation we can understand since ie is approximately equal to ic if ic increases ve will increase and if ve increases vb will also increase due to these equations if vb is more then there will be less resistance across the base and also there will be less current across the base if current is less across the base this will oppose the increase in current ic hence q point will be more stable these circuits are known as feedback configuration because any change in emitter voltage is fed back to base circuit also these feedbacks are known as negative feedback because it opposes the change in collector current these circuits are known as feedback configurations or feedback bias because any change in emitter voltage is fed back to base circuit as we have understood here and it is known as negative feedback because it opposes the change in collector current for emitter feedback configuration we can write the expression for emitter current ie as vcc minus vbe divided by re plus rb divided by beta dc if re is very much greater than rb divided by beta then we can write 
IE is equal to VCC minus VBE divided by RE. VC can be written as VCC minus IC RC. This is about emitter feedback configuration. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.